Hey babes, it's Tula Tom Music Box and welcome back to the channel. So I asked y'all in the community tabs, babe, what y'all wanted to see next. And after school takes the W, bitch. So I'm gonna do the after school EP Melanie Martinez reaction today on the channel. I'm feeling a little tired today, but I know that Melanie's gonna wake me up. And I know that's gonna be a little adventure we're about to go on. So strap up that you get ready. I still have wheels on the bus, like constantly playing in my mind. That song is such a banger, bro. Like, I swear, forget the old version. We are only streaming wheels on the bus, Melanie Martinez, girl. Like, what the hell? So we got seven tracks on this EP today. It is 22 minutes and 17 seconds, which is I would say like a good length for the amount of tracks it is The ones that are really calling out to me crybabies and earthlings are the notebook glued and The bakery I just literally watched a movie reaction like this morning of the notebook and I was like shit Like I was all in my feels like I was tearing up and that's kind of like what it's making me think about Is that what it's gonna be about like absolutely probably f not like melanie probably was plotting in her notebook or someone was like plotting against melanie in their notebook and they were like i'm gonna get your ass like that's probably what it's about honestly this girl is a fugly cow. and then glued i'm thinking of like like hands getting glued together or like you're glued to someone because you're like attracted to them or like everyone's eyes are like glued on you that's the kind of vibes i'm getting from that track and then the bakery, that one's really calling out to me because like, we love to bake. Like, are we baking some cookies, bitch? Are we baking some like little treats? Why are we going after school, girl? I honestly think that one might go in a different direction, if you know what I'm saying. I'm really having fun with my little Melanie Martinez journey. I'm so happy that I stopped sleeping on her, secured the trilogy tour, swiped the card, and we're here. I'm not gonna watch any spoilers because I want to just witness it all and just like pass out like in the arena. Like, I'm, I'm already sweating like I need to shut up and stop thinking about it because I'm, I'm literally gonna pass out Sorry if my voice sounds a little weird too. I feel kind of sick. I don't even feel sick. Honestly I just feel kind of exhausted from today, but like roll with a bitch roll with it Stop drop and roll with it Ay. Sorry, I just drink energy drink also per usual after I work so I might be a little cray cray today And also before we get into the after-school reaction, I will be reacting to the K-12 film I just want to kind of make my way through all the discography first. Definitely want to like re-listen to Crybaby for sure before the trilogy tour. And I really want to watch the Portos music videos as well, the ones that I haven't seen. But don't worry, that will be here on the channel for y'all. I'm going to get some popcorn and we're going to eat up. We're going to get our popcorn and we're going to eat up and watch that shit, okay? Now, the first track is called Notebook. I hope I don't cry. I literally just, like I said, watched that Notebook reaction this morning. Let's find out. What's written in that notebook? What do y'all think it says? I think y'all already know because I'm assuming y'all heard this, but if I had to take a guess, I feel like it's gonna be like some scandalous shit like written in the notebook. Or we're gonna be like drawing some pictures, like maybe some hearts. Or we're gonna be like scratching out a bitch's name, like we're about to like beat ass. Like, I don't know. I I'm ready to find out, but I'm scared. Melanie, what are we getting into after school? Should I be taking notes? <laughs> Melanie, I'm fuck. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to. <laughs> Melanie, I wasn't ready for the lesson. <laughs> fuck, I forgot. I forgot a pencil. Wait, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Alright. We got pencil and paper now. I, I didn't. I wasn't prepared to take notes, bitch. Like, but Melanie said, you know write this shit down so all right here we go and you're selfish because you always think your ass is always right and you're <laughs> selfish because you always think your ass is right they can't accept they're wrong they are mr know-it-all i know everything time you learned a thing or two but how to keep a girl like me with you time you learn how Wait, hold up. Why is this giving such good energy? Tommy learned a thing or two about how to keep a girl like me with you. That was Melanie's hack to me that she dumped his has. Yes, bitch, dump him. Like, 
seriously, you can't keep a girl like Melanie if you're not keeping an interesting period tea. But, dude, oh my god. This is a bop. I wasn't prepared to like the first track this much. Like, it was calling out to me. I want to go back a little bit because I just was so obsessed with it. Let me learn a thing or two. A girl like me with you. How to make it times more than you? My brain isn't braining right now. Y'all, I'm sorry. Taking notes for a second, Melanie. You touched your computer more than you ever touched me. People who are so into their phones and technology and they don't see what's right in front of them. Did y'all watch? I don't know if Melanie stands watch Love is Blind. Y'all let me know down in the comments if you watch Love is Blind. But have y'all seen that new season, that man who was on his phone? I wanted to throw that phone out his goddamn hands. That is so rude. Uh-uh. Hell no. Hell no, bitch. Next to just a friend who occasion. to the situation ship oh my god what the hell damn i'm gonna write melanie a love letter since they never wrote her one True. age is nothing if you're not evolved yeah. age is nothing if you're not evolved <laughs> i feel like that's some like science shit right there like evolution and just like the, the decades the different decades of time have like evolved us like our human bodies, but age is nothing. Like if you're 40 and you want to date a 17 year old, you probably like, no offense, but you're probably not evolved. You probably are still super immature. This little outro. Hey, Melanie needs some love letters. You could do better, yeah. Oh. I'm aggravated, honestly. Like, I'm gonna write a love letter right now. One second, bitch. All right. I don't know if y'all could see that. I don't know if Zoom gonna Zoom. But Melanie, I love you, bitch. Like, I wrote you a love letter because that's ridiculous. I can't deal with people who don't write each other cute little notes. Maybe notes isn't for everybody, but I love a goddamn little spicy love note. Even just like a little nothing love note. Like if you just write, hey, I think you cute. I'm like, no, like heart explodes, you know? But she never got a love note. Did she get anything out of this relationship? I'm sorry if I like missed a lot of lyrics now and I feel like I kind of blacked out during that song because she immediately told me to go get the pen and paper in the notebook and i immediately just felt like i just felt like i was back in school and i got stressed i like felt like i needed to take notes and i haven't done that in a while so i'm sorry if i didn't get all the lyrics y'all the beat was really good i liked it i liked the dun -na -na, dun -na -na, dun -na -na, dun -na -na. it was just hitting for me and i mean it was just pretty straightforward like he just sounds like a user he doesn't do anything cute for her She's like, take notes because you suck. And to that, I would say he probably does. The next track is called Test Me. Why do I feel like I'm about to cry? I don't know what's going on today. Oh my God. <sighs> okay. okay, test me. Girl, please don't test me anymore. <sighs> I'm not good at standardized tests, bitch. You know, if you're not book smart, you're street smart. The thing is, girl, like I don't have it either. I'm just a dumb whore. So like, go easy on me, bitch. Don't make it a hard test. I can't even pass Kahoot class, bitch. Kahoot be getting my ass. All right, let's go. Test me. Hmm, okay. Ooh. God, I'll be the jester. It's not 
just a joke or a lie. I'm mortal defected by this form. Oh my god. No, Melanie, no, no, no. Don't get sad on me. Don't get sad on me right now. I like the I'm mortal though, because it, it just makes me think about portals, because like it's the whole concept of life and death, like we're just kind of forever in ebb and a flow. So I like the I'm mortal, but defected by this form. I'd rather be trusted by goddesses rest in their head. To be forgotten, I make the most before the coffins pour me Dude, why is this overwhelming me so much right now? I feel so stressed. I make the most before the coffin. That line, I'll make the most before the coffin. Like how they make the coffin for you, girl. Uh-uh, that's dark as hell. It's like also positive though, like I'm gonna make the most before I die, but like why like the way she worded it, Melanie. Yeah, eyes are always on the next floor. The space updates the quiet. The downtime to breathe in my lungs cause I'm mortal. Sound effects. Oh my gosh. The, and I beg to be tested by goddesses resting their heads upon pillows. It just makes me think of like pillow princess vibes. <laughs> I just can't get it out of my head now. What is this voice? Ooh, the broken glass. So Melanie rather be tested by goddesses. That track lost me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> I think the production's just really slapping on these first two tracks and it's hard for me to pay attention to the lyrics. I guess since men are just like already like objectifying the absolute <laughs> god of her, she's just like <laughs> just put me against like Aphrodite's ass and I'm just gonna try to be tested by her. We're heading into brain and heart. I don't know which one y'all be using more. I be using the heart more. The brain clearly doesn't brain if you haven't noticed on this goddamn channel. She does not brain. She just exists in my skull, my cr cranium. I feel like I'm very driven by the heart. So, dude, this one has 33 million streams. Y'all be running it up. Y'all be running it up for Melanie. Oh my God, the bakery has 78 million streams. I'm really ready to get there. Okay, okay. Comment below if you use your brain or if you use your heart in most situations. I'm having a feeling that Melanie's like, I need to use both. Using both would be the most logical, I think, in most situations. Oh my, the bass. Hold up, she's saving the juice for after school. She said, y'all want beats? See me after school on the playground and I'ma fuck you up. That's literally what she's doing to us. Because what is this? That line also, bring up all my memories folder, please, in the temporal lobe. The science and that goddamn lyric. My god. Instant meals, temperature, arise now. Sweat pain drops down my silky. Good, good, good. Now, ability. Oh, the cook, cook, cook. Now, that was. Melanie is cooking in the studio. That's all I gotta say. Oh my gosh. I love the sweet rain drops down my silky flesh, buttering up my conscience. Brainstem yells, temperature, arise now. I don't know, it's just so like, so much imagery. Like, that's like I can see the brain getting to work. I love it. Without the star times and illusion, it is removed. Dude, honestly though, like times and illusion, if you just remove it, I hate the con, like I understand like why, I guess as like a functioning society, we need time, but it just sucks sometimes because it's like, gotta be on the clock from nine to five, even if there's not shit to do, like you have to work, you know, the whole time. How y'all feel about like the construct of time? I think it's like good and bad. Wednesday, alive alone, flip it around the other way. Okay. 
why am I getting cold? Why am I getting chills? Call me out. Or be taken advantage of because your heart's too trusting. <sighs> Melanie, look. It's not my fault. <laughs> Dude, I feel like Melanie has a freaking biology degree or something. Fervency in my arteries, passion blooming through my bones. Relates like the human body to like passion and like how she talks about passions blooming through her bones. Bones like hold you together, you know, her passions holding her together. But when we hit steadfast, don't you disappoint me? I don't know, but they should stop. I think I might like the CP better than the album so far. Like, I don't know. The album is a concept for sure. I feel like this might be a little bit less of a concept after school than K through 12, but I just love like her flow and the, the soft, like melodic productions. Dude, she better play some of these at the trilogy tour if you want to. Bum, bum. <laughs> Push my hand to my chest. Hey, give me an outro, Melanie. Go. I wanna know how you flow. Hey, bum ba dum bum bum. Hey, bum ba dum bum bum. Dude, I love it. Why am I liking this EP so much? Y'all weren't kidding. Y'all were like bitching me to react. Of course I did. This is so good. You know, whenever artists give you like the land yop, they give you the extra, the deluxe, whatever. I feel like that they're usually just not as good. They didn't make the album for a reason, but I am vibing with these goddamn after school tracks. Bitch. All right, we're gonna move on to numbers. I mean, we've talked about the notebook, test me, brain and heart numbers. I'm thinking maybe we're in like math class or something, trying to get some digits. I don't know. Being analytical, I mean, we went from brain and heart. Like, are we gonna be analytical with our brain. I have a lot of different thoughts based on the last track. Hey, I don't have to do any math on this goddamn track because we know I suck at that. Ooh, she's punching it in. Count up your portion, count up your checks, beat in your fam while you're coming at my neck. Dude, we're restarting it. I can't even pay attention because the beats are so... Fucking good. She's an accountant. When you go to these with the cool dramatics, I'm not inspired by your flesh practice. I'm just the chicken giving you the egg. So oh, I love this. I already feel like this is definitely about media, like paparazzi. They're coming at her. They're snap, snap, snapping photos of her. They're able to feed their family because Melanie's their product that they're using without her permission, also. And, you know, she's saying she's the, I'm just the chicken giving you the egg. Like, she's basically, like, providing for your family. And they're counting their checks, truly. I don't know how I feel about this chorus. It's, like, the, kind of sounds like a snare drum and, like, some heavy cymbal. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, but I love the Am I Just a Number because it seems like that's your goal. Oh, I need a reason why I'm looked at like a joke. Girl, I don't need a reason because I am, but... <laughs> I've definitely read some comments about Melanie Martinez on the internet, and it's kind of honestly just giving... I just hate how, like, how judgmental people are about people who like do art. Like This is clearly art, a lot of her projects. And people want to like demonize art and art is open for interpretation like some of the best art talks about really controversial subject matters like that's just what makes it good that's what makes it so inspirational and if we're not talking about it then we're being silenced so i like that melanie talks about stuff like this a lot it does not go underappreciated okay vocals To decide what my future is, I'm my own clairvoyant. She's Madam Web, bitch. She's Madam Web. Ooh, we're slowing down. 
Take me to Venus, let me explode I mean, but of course, use all your words to distract from the source Where are the group pushes past our limits Just to watch that someone's grow uh, You push us past our limits just to watch Dosmos grow. Like, the limit does not exist? The limit does not exist! Oh. Do we mean, like, money? Melanie's definitely just getting out here like woman being put down I'm assuming because she's just like no use in arguing with someone who doesn't want to prioritize birthing of creation like woman birth children women create life truly and then there's gonna be people you need like a man and a woman okay but woman birth the goddamn child okay dude the sound effect on her voice Oh, we're like half timing it now, the beat. Dude, if Melanie sings this live, I'm gonna shit on myself. I loved in the last chorus how like they like half timed the beat instead of the tss, tss, it was like tss, 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 tss. like I don't know, like I loved how they did that. I was no Ooh. Melanie's vocal range in that song was very impressive she doesn't want to be another number another you know product for the industry you know women need to be respected more women create life they birth the children you know kind of a little play off of womb to you decent men out there i see you i see you you're doing the lord's work we're gonna move on to glued i was very excited for this track it actually looks like it has the least streams now that i'm looking so maybe it's not liked by everyone else as much as it was calling out to me. Let's find out why. I don't know. I just thought the title was really interesting. <laughs> Dear Melly has too much fun with the goddamn sound effects, I swear. Alright, so far, this sounds like a little love song. I know why y'all not streaming this shit. I know why y'all not streaming this shit because y'all like the y'all like the sad tracks. Y'all like the sad girl tracks. But look, we love a good little love song. Like I'm glued to the love in you. It swallows me whole. You're hard to let go. Now could this song take a dark turn? Absolutely. But so far it's like a little love bop. that line i know we can't die at the same time but please do you think that our love can do anything is that what the line is in the notebook i'll play it right here do you think that our love can create miracles that is some ali noah shit right there i've cried more than once thinking about that like with my partner i'm like if we couldn't go at the same time, I can't even, I'm not even talking about this on YouTube, but bro, like that is so sad. <laughs> I like that, I like that. I'm trying to focus on the things that hold me so damn close. That's something I had a really hard time with growing up. I always like, I hate to say, but was a people pleaser and like, I just, I don't know, I feel like I kept a lot of people close and did things that didn't fill my cup, if that makes sense, but I feel like once you grow into your own and you really stop doing things that don't fill your cup, you just start to feel so much happier. I'm stuck in the vortex, stuck in the vortex. You're in the void, bitch. The foreshadowing is just... It's there. Dude, the 
the song, y'all, the song is pretty. Uh, cut the negative self-talk and cut out my procrastination. Like, get do what you want to do. Get your goals. Stop talking negative about yourself. Being sticky, stuck, glue those old habits shut. You know, stop being glued to your old habits and, like, let's, you know, and she says, pace me to a new way of being. Like, take me off of this, like, glue and, like, put me somewhere else, you know, like, I'm trying to breathe, trying to get a new life started. Okay, so necessary detachment is scary yeah i feel like it's definitely not good to get too attached you have to like still be individual so that's definitely important especially if you're like in a relationship you don't want to like merge and become like one another or i don't know you, you want to still be like separate like you want to work as a couple and you also want to work as individuals in my opinion i feel like if you get stuck in the couple thing it can become, you know, where did I go? So it's kind of important. Next track is called Field Trip. <laughs> where are we going? Are we going to the park? Are we going to like a little coffee shop? I'm trying to think about where kids go on field trips these days. Where do y'all go actually? Cause I don't know. Do people do field trips anymore? One time I went on a field trip to like, and we went on like a little swamp tour and we got to ride on like an airboat and like feed gators. And I thought that was so fun. I have a picture of me from like middle school. I'll like put it on here if I can find it, but I have like a snake around my neck and I was just like vibing and doing my little thing. I was such a little like nerd. <laughs> I love it. I'm assuming we're leaving campus, so shit's gonna get wild on this goddamn field trip. <laughs> Talking to a brick wall gives me headaches, headaches. Dude, if they're like not listening, what's the point? It's honestly a waste of time. Or if you're just talking to a brick wall, maybe she's getting at that they're just kind of boring and there's just nothing there. They're just a brick. Oh my Oh my god, wait, this is a bop. We're going back, we're going back, hold up. The way she was singing, I was just like, go, 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 go. Alright, we're about to get it, we're about to get it. I'm gonna read these lyrics, I'm gonna try to hit it. Trying to bring the mystical into the material. Bitch, I'm in the 11th lifetime, I'm in the period. The definition of dichotomy, duality. She's a bridge and on her bridge, I'll take a shit. Dude, oh, not a shit joke. Yes, I love a good shit joke. Oh my God. Okay, you'll get lit. Let's get deep. If not, I'll dip. If we're not having heart to heart, same. Like I'm dipping the f out. The next line is I'll be riding solo on my field trip. Melanie, you don't need anybody. Start up the car yourself, girl. Swerve the hell out. Dude, Melanie's so slept on. Scorpio bitch with a sharp ass sting. <laughs> Dude, Scorpio. I've never I've known a couple of Scorpios. They they like so wild, but honestly, they are ride or dies. Like y'all slay. I got a Taurus Sun and Mercury. So Taurus is like stubborn, but like they're like grounded though. Sometimes they can be possessive, but they are super loyal also. Alright. Tell me more, tell me more. I have a Gemini Sun and an Aries moon. And I think my rising is Capricorn. So do with that what you will. Analyze me if you want. Um, I love to be analyzed. 
like I'm a product of society. <laughs> Dude, this part, this part. Dude, that line. Take me where this outro really does go. Really. Take me on my five, bitch. I'm a couple of you. That was the one for me. That was my favorite so far. I was not expecting Field Trip to do that. But when she said she would take a shit on the bridge, I knew that was going to be like one of my top Melanie Martinez songs. You know, maybe I wasn't experiencing all the fun shit after school because I had after school activities like soccer practice, softball practice, band practice. Maybe I wasn't experiencing all this goddamn fun because this album has just been a whole ass bop. All right, we're getting into the bakery, the last track. I am very excited for this one. This one has the most streams, 78 million. Y'all seem to really like this one. So I'm really excited because I also started this one. I have a feeling I know what it's gonna be about. I don't know if we're gonna be baking cookies if you know what I mean. About to bake up some cookies. Vegan, of course. Bitch, what I told y'all, we eating all the rainbow cookies, okay? What I mean, because I love me some cookies. I love me some cookies. Ooh, we actually are baking some cookies, okay? Also, rainbow cookies, like, taste the rainbow. Just put your paws up. Because you were born this way, baby. Stiletto death send me to purgatory. What are you getting at there? Like, is that like step on my neck vibes and then send me to purgatory? Like, step on me with a stiletto, or is that like a the stiletto? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to shake it. The stiletto also means something else. Send me to purgatory, like where I have to think about what I've done. Oh, this is a dark. Trying to make some more. They expect me to stay when I should go. So she wants to be off the clock, but they're like, no, you're gonna bake some more cookies. You're gonna bake some more songs, if you know what I'm saying. Grab the bag for when they close the door. It ain't for me to roll it out. She doesn't want to have to roll out the dough in the bakery. Also, if it ain't for me to roll it out, like if there is money in the bag, she's not getting it because it says it's just for me to raise the dough. So she's got to put that yeast in it, make it rise, you know, and she got to make that money for them, if you know what I'm saying, and they're going to take it over time. She's not getting paid extra. <laughs> Dude, what a concept. I didn't know we were gonna go here. I thought we were just gonna honestly just be like different, but I like this better. This is cool. Love the guitar too. <laughs> Dude, this part. Clearly Melanie excelled in home egg because in the cooking school class because they want her to bake some more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love this. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Dude, wait, this over? by so fast oh my god oh my god y'all trying to get me to listen to disaster by cone and grain x that's what just came on the queue y'all can go to sleep because i'm not oh. bro what the hell was that track that was not what i was expecting i didn't know that she was putting the after hours in after school she's going work at the little bake shop baking it up and they're trying to steal all her goddamn money they're not giving her a fair payout, if you know what I'm saying. She's making all these songs, making all this money for the industry, and they're just robbing her ass. And she's overworked. Close down that bakery. We need a union to get set up. Oh, shut down. 
Honestly, y'all, this was so fun. I was not expecting this to be better than K through 12, just because, simply because usually, like I said, the lanyard, the extra, the deluxe, it's not as good as like the standard. But Melanie said, bitch, y'all thought K through 12 was a bop? Come with me after school and find out what be happening. This is Bop City Central right here. I don't know, man. Like, I like this. I really hope she plays some of these on the trilogy tour. That would be so fun. Like, I can just see myself being, like, in the bakery, just being like, flip it, flop it, whatever the hell she said. And I would just be like this and just getting it, you know? And then y'all sleeping on glued. Y'all go stream glued. What are we doing? Like, I liked that one. Why does it have the least plays? Do think the beat wasn't as good on that one, but that halftime at the end where she was getting it, not, not Melanie, I don't know if Melanie plays the drums, but whoever was playing the drums was getting it. And then, oh, I don't know how to pick a top three. I liked so many of them. I feel like I have to put glued in my top three. Otherwise y'all are gonna like slit my throat because of how much I like said y'all need to go stream it. All right, we're gonna put glued as number three. I really did like glued. I thought they had she said some I thought Melanie said some really good things in that track that made me like reflect a lot. They were making me emotional honest honestly and like put some respect on glued. Second track that I like the most would probably have to be the bakery. I feel like that one went hard. It does have the most streams. I feel like I just kind of zoned out during it honestly i was just like flip it flop it and i was just picturing like melanie like whipping up some dough in the bakery shop or something like i don't know i really like that one that one created like a visual for me and i really like loved that and then number one has got to be field trip why does a field trip have more streams that one shitting on bridges um just the whole little rap flow melanie had i would love to see that one the most like if that one was played at the trilogy tour, I would be getting the hell down, bro. <laughs> if you made it to the end, as always, you're beautiful and sexy and thank you so much for clicking and hanging out and bopping to this after school EP with me. I had such a good time. This is, I, this might be my favorite one so far. It's definitely higher up for me than K through 12. I've just had a lot of time with portals. So like I got, to like see how it compares over time. But as of right now, bitch, as of right now, after school is doing something to me that I wasn't ready for it to do. Also, let me know what y'all favorite album is down below. I would love to know that. I haven't asked y'all that yet, but let me know what's your favorite album down below. Please subscribe if you want to. It really helps the channel. And please subscribe because we, I will be doing some more Melanie reactions on the channel. I still, know to re I still need to react to a couple of the Portals music videos. I will be doing a K through 12 film reaction, so stay tuned. And we're gonna do a Crybaby revisit. Please like this video also. It helps the channel. It helps me and it helps YouTube know that you like the video and put that algorithm towards you and bring more Melanie content to you, not only from me, but from other creators who like Melanie as well. So give this video a like and help us all out. That's all I gotta say today, but once again, thank y'all so much for watching. And I hope that y'all have a lovely day or a beautiful night. And I'll see y'all soon with some more reactions. Later, babes.